Hey everybody, Pinstripe here, and welcome to my very first mod for Hogs of War, which is now officially live. For those of you who are eager to start playing, you'll find a link in the description, and I'll be going over some of the key talking points that are, were involved in the making of this mod, as well as some things to look out for before you start playing. Now, as many of you will remember, I created this mod through the use of the official Hogs of War map editor, which, as I've mentioned before, is still under development. Right now the editor is in a state where you can only add extra stuff into each level that already exists in said level. So for example on mission 12's Just Desserts, I can't currently add in a pillbox or an artillery or even different trees because there aren't any that exist in that level already. So as you can imagine I was limited to some degree, however this is still a mod that offers major changes to the missions that we currently have in the single player campaign. Just to name a few, spawn positions and enemy ranks for every mission have been changed except for mission 8 which can't be altered due to Sony's protection measures. Uh, to sum that up quickly, uh, mission 8 was selected at the time of Hogs Wars development as being one of the missions that cannot be modified as any attempt to do so will result in the game crashing when attempting to load said mission. Anyway, new buildings and structures have been added wherever possible. Um, but I'll let you guys kind of figure that one out and discover those things for yourselves when you start playing. Uh, new and additional promotion points have also been added. I fixed and kind of remedied some of the current bugs involving promotion points, including the time it takes for them to drop, which as many of you will know is a real problem on mission 20. Their spawn locations have also been changed along with dropping additional medals into missions that tend to bug out a little bit, such as mission 17. I also decided to set nearly every single crate in this mod to be completely randomized, meaning that when you pick up a weapon crate, you could be given any weapon that is currently in the game. That includes the shockwave, multiplayer only weapons such as the freeze gas or roller grenades, and the best part is that it will be random every single time. So no matter how many times you play through the campaign in Pinstripes mod, each crate will never contain the same item as before. It's definitely an element that I hope will keep the mod feeling fresh to most players as throughout making this mod I've been keeping in mind the balance between normal and hard mode. This mod is meant to be challenging but not to the extreme. It has a much higher inclusion of the engineer class and a more dynamic mix of enemy classes per mission which I hope will be an improvement for many players. Ultimately I'm just eager to see what you guys think. Should it be required I will look at making further balance changes down the line if the outcry is large enough as at the end of the day this is something that I just wanted to make for the community for a long time. The plan going forward though is even more exciting as the fun does not stop here. Sometime in the future Pinstripes Mod version 2.0 will be released which will be able to contain any object in any level and will also involve new mission briefings and completely new objectives. Going even further into the future, version 3.0, which is a little bit more out of reach at the moment, will contain completely new maps. Brand new maps for every single mission, again except for mission 8. So those are the goals for the future. I feel it is possible to achieve them, but as always it's just going to take time. But I gotta thank the reheated team of course for their support on my making of this mod. If it wasn't for them, none of this could be possible. And as always, a huge thank you to you for supporting me, this channel, and indeed the community. Hogs of War is heading back into the limelight and it's just really an exciting time right now for all of us. So go ahead, check out the link in the description and let me know what you think about this mod. Also, one last thing before the video ends, if you do run into any issues being able to load the mod on EPSXE, make sure your BIOS is set to the default HLE. For the easiest methods of play, I recommend using the emulator's 2.0.5 version. If you run into any other issues, please let me know in the comments or come find me in the Hogs of War Discord. The links to everything, as always, are in the description. So have fun, guys, and I will catch you all later for the next one. Destination Boy